wow, this is really great news. This bulletin was just passed down from the Twin Flame Board of Governors that the Divine Masculine has finally woken up and opened his eyes and saw the light. This whole time, the Divine Masculine has been sleeping through this enlightenment process because clearly, you know, they just don't really care to do any of that work. And it's all on the Divine Feminine to, you know, make this whole thing happen. And, you know, the, gr the great thing is, is that this bulletin comes in from, uh, you know, from the Board of Governor Tr Tribunal Council of Twin Flames, which is a super secret group that, I mean, nobody even knows if they exist. So much so that nobody really can verify whether or not any of these bulletins or information they send are true. So, if, wait a second, if, if, all, if I see all of this, all of these things on YouTube all the time that the Divine Masculine has woken up and, and like the portals are opening and, and, uh, where where are they getting all this information from it's, it's got to be from the you know the tribunal council of board of governor twin flame union majesties because that where else would where else would it be you know they have the final say on on everything that happens like you know they hand out the twin flame cards um which you know if you if you don't have one of those you could write to their P.O. box. Or there's a cutoff date, I'm pretty sure. So if you miss that, it's, it's going to be a long winter. So, I, you know, definitely jump on that. I'm pretty sure you have to pay for shipping and handling. Anyhow, if the Divine Masculine collectively, so saying every single divine masculine in the world woke up at the same time that's like I'm pretty sure that's like you know letting out the biggest prison on earth for recess one day because there are going to be a lot of horny gentlemen uh, if this is true. So, maybe it is, maybe it's like, you know, uh, one by one it's happening, or, or I don't know. But I do know that I'm a divine masculine, and, you know, I definitely, maybe I've been uh, sleeping through this whole time, or just imagining that, that I've, hmm, this is very confusing to me. I'm not really sure then what I've been doing this whole time. I'm not really sure if, if I've been receiving these transmissions that everybody else seems to have been receiving. I definitely have been like sleepwalking through my entire journey. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe I got like some really, you know, dosed, like somebody roofied me and now I'm, that's what, that's probably what happened. Like all, all of the divine masculines got roofied and now they're just waking up and, you know, their pants were around their ankles and their butt hurts and they're not really sure why, but look at least they have their eyes open. So, 
you know, that's a huge step forward. Right? Does any of this make sense? Does any of this is any of this real? Like where where do you think that this information comes from? You as an individual are meant to love yourself fully. You're meant to have that desire for something, have that desire for your twin flame. It's in your heart. You choose that desire. You choose to have your twin flame in your life. And A to B, you heal the blocks that are standing in your way. It's very, very simple. There's no collectively everybody's just in union one day. It's not collectively all these women are uh, divine feminine are standing hand in hand and, you know, like like some uh, high school dance and waiting for the divine, divine masculine to come over and, you know, take you by, take you by the arm, lead you to the dance floor. You know, this is all on you. Why rely on something outside of yourself to give you false information when you have your own lie detector right here, right here in your heart. You know what's true for you. You know what the truth is. Only you can bring this home. Only you can bring yourself home to God, to your twin flame. The responsibility is yours to heal and to love yourself fully in order to have everything that you want, the reality that you want to create, the life you want to live, all of it is yours. All of it is for you. All of it wants to be given to you. But not by listening to garbage and not by believing that you know, solar, magenta rays and, and all this other nonsense is like playing a part in your reality. You create your reality. Only you. No one else can create your reality for you. If you're having a shitty reality, change it. No one else can come in and say, okay, here, I'm going to move some pieces around. And voila, now you have a better reality. You're creating what's inside of you. That's, that's the only way that this is working. That's the only way that this is actually happening in your experience. It's because what's inside of you is being recreated outside of you. And you could honestly believe me or you could think that that is crazy, but it's true. It's just the truth. There is no other truth. There's not like, well, I halfway believe that and maybe I'll tinker with it. I mean, you know, tinker with it. See what works. See how, see how your reality is created by yourself by the way you feel inside. And by the, by the choices that you make and the desires that you have. And when you unblock those, those things and that, are, you know, that are putting resistance in between you and your desire, when those blocks are lifted, when that resistance has been healed, you have your desire. You have your twin flame. That's the only way to do it. Do the work. Heal yourself. Love yourself. That's the only way. You know, start doing that. Take those steps. Visit asoneguidance.com 
for coaching sessions. Uh, you know, each week we can we can reveal blocks and heal you all the way into union. It's an amazing thing, amazing thing to have. Uh, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time. Take care.